What's going on guys, it's Wee Finney here, and I'm back with another account review. Um, this time it's Miss Potato's account. Um, she thankfully let me use her account to, you know, make a video on. Um, hopefully I will be getting more and more accounts. Um, but for now it's just going to be like the, the Go Games accounts. Um, if you just want to see like... Brazil accounts or something, you know, just leave a wee comment down below and uh, I'll see what I can do. But for now, it's just going to be the Go Greet um, accounts. But uh, as you can see, uh, Miss Potatoes 155 not reincarnated. Um, the reason for that is because Tournament of Throne should just keep capping it, so it's free rewards. So you can't, you can definitely not complain about that. Um, she's currently stacking up the vitality, as you can see, uh, about halfway to getting somebody from Ultima Battle Power. Um, after TSI being an actual thing, God knows what we can get from Ultima Battle Power now, or what they're willing to give us. So at this point, it is pretty worth um, giving. Get or saving up the uh, saving up the vitality. Um, as you can see, she is 6.3 mil battle power. Um, top place is 10 mil. Um, the guy I think is reincarnated because I checked out Tournament Thrones and he isn't in the, the 121 to 159, so this guy must be reincarnated. So he probably gets the, the overhaul on Potato due to the reincarnation effects and stuff like that there. But uh, as you can see, she's got that Riatsu in 94. Uh, she's probably saving up the silver to upgrade her equipment since she's so high, because it starts to cost outrageous amounts. Um, her Shinigami Academy is 43, almost at that 44. Um, if she got lucky with a bit of Shinso pills or something, or just doing her three cultivates, she'll get the 44 in a day or two. Um, but uh, she's probably stacking these here just to try and get as much free XP as possible, which is pretty nice. Um, I suppose her team um, is Kakado, Hikifune, Nukin, Sexy Kukaku, uh, Raging Jacka. And as, she's, as you can see, she's got uh, Shenju and Raging Yuroichi and stuff, you know, as backups and whatnot. Um, let's see what else she's got. Just a bunch of Bond characters and stuff. But uh, all in all, pretty crazy uh, player, especially Kakado. He only recently came out. So to have him straight away is pretty nice. Um, and obviously, he helps upgrade the, the Mugen and fucking tanks him out. Um, let's have a wee look at them. So, this is the main character. Um, obviously, nobody really focuses on the main character unless you're the XP Zero. Um, so, just having these here stats is pretty decent. You know, 300k HP, 164k speed, um, evolution you know, slowly just worked on. Not really anything to concern yourself with. Um, sexy Kakaku, full mods, got everything, you know, in attack, decrease an er, attacker's attack by 25% for one run. Very handy mod. The extra 25% defense every time. You lose an HP plus raging Jackass defense mod. Just fucking makes your Kakaku pretty tiny. It makes any Vanguard with uh, defense mods and stuff very tiny. Uh, as you can see, sitting at 4.6 mil, um, physical attack at 360k, um, strategy defense at 400k. So, pretty buffy ass Vanguard, I must say. Physical defense, 454k, a counter not lock. Break defense, pretty high. Crit as well, you know, because she does hit all, so she's a pretty helpful character. And you've got that 2 4 set, the 130. Oh, 130 set. Um, 
for the two piece and then the first 80 set I think for the four piece a bunch of level 10s level 11 stanimas stuff like that there still get that dodge just for the, the main so as you can see there is quite a few you know stones still still possibly to be worked on so this sexy Kaku could easily hit 5 mil with a bit of boosting um, of the, the stamina stones and stuff like that there um, so there's still a lot of improvement there but you know overall pretty nasty ass sexy Kaku got that 140 event set so obviously keep doing your blood war every day getting max or just keep maxing these out for the extra hp ego still not even complete as well so you know still have this here to gain as well which is pretty nice so what's that that's an extra like 40k hp bit of speed bit of physical attack almost 10k defense so definitely cannot complain there obviously saving up the vet evo slows down um so we got mukin almost at that two mil 1.8 mil hp 1.1 physical damn strategy defense physical defense what's a bit weird is the physical defense is a bit lower but he doesn't have any defense mods or stats or anything like that there. so still have it pretty close to your vanguard it's pretty crazy fully modded as well so you know ignore invincibility increase attack by 100% each round for five round stack increase all enemy speed by six percent pretty crazy got that 283 hit rate 100% crit 95 break defense 93 counter so just overall a nasty ass character um two four set again so Got that Winchester set, two pieces, and um, the nether armor, four pieces. Um, let's see, level nine strengths, level nine stamina. So there's still, you can still get a bit more out of this mutant, which is still crazy, because you upgrade those level nine stamina to like two level 11s and four level 10s. You could possibly push that to 2 mil HP. And then with the strength, if you got it all to 12, you could easily push that to probably 1.4, 1.5. At a, like a hard push. Um, obviously, a bit of extra fury on this guy. Um, I think it's T1. I'm not 100%. I can't, can't remember. Um, accessories. Got that 140 event strength, 54, 41. So you can fully upgrade these still, you know, for that still a humongous boost to get from them. Because I think the max is what, 100 or something? So, you know, you're only halfway to that. Still a crazy boost. Uh, what's the Soul Destroyer gloves? Soul Destroyer bracelet. Okay, what's that? 120 sets? Evo. It's not even at the top tier yet. So can still get the five fury and stuff like that there, and a bunch of extra HP and some speed and attack. That looks like it's physical attack. It's still 27k physical and stuff, but overall is pretty pretty nasty. Ass Mukim with a 1.1 mil attack. Um, who was next? Iggy Fune on it. Obviously there just for you know. Invincibility probably if it gets the skill. Um, no mods that add to like ally speed or anything up there, which is a bit uh, a bit of a downfall. Is there none for Shinji Mario? No, it's a bit crap. Or even Reggie. Asher Keto attack. Oh no. Yeah. So there's nothing to work even with a few of the other guys, but overall Hiki Fune, you know, probably just there for if it gets the skill, you know, it adds the invincibility on everybody. Um, accessories, probably, yeah, probably shit.
230k speed but the main one is the Kakadu with over the 1.0 speed so crazy amounts of speed um, 50, er, 525k HP 673k uh, strategy attack not as big as the Mukin but I think the Mukin's attack is much higher than Kakadu's I think Kakadu is more of a support character um, missing that last mod when killed fossil like three random enemies for the one round you know once you get that that could come in that could be a it's a double-edged sword fossilize because you can only give skill damage i think if i remember right there because the nozarashi did it and then it was just fucking aids so i think it's only skill damage can affect your uh the fossilized characters so it could work but it could not at the same time. Oh, excuse me. Fuck. Very tired. <laughs> you know, work all day. So get that um, six set, but only the blaze, the level 80. So it's the second uh, level 80 set. Um, still haven't got all the level 12 agilities. So, you know, he's still able to get faster and faster and faster. After you get the level 12s, I could probably stretch and say, easily hit the 1.3 mark 1.3 mil speed uh, wisdom level 11 level 10s you know stanima as well is like seven and eight so you know with a bit of buffing up you could probably get him six seven hundred k by just giving him level nines and then with the strategy the strategy attack you could easily get it to like 750 maybe 800 with getting it all even 11 or a few 12s accessories got the 120s um what's this one agility see if you were able to get the 140s strip these down equip the 140s and upgrade them it'd probably benefit you a bit more evo still pretty grim could probably with the evo or vitality here you could probably Get to level i'd say seven or eight but i well, hope does he get the seven or eight evo is pretty fucking aids i'm not gonna lie so has it possibly get 15 fury which is crazy so it is but it can give a strong ass boost as you can see um gonna check out the hokuka kai's um let's see so 893, possibly save enough for one of these big bad boys. Um, let's see, main birdie has anything. Sexy Kakaku, got those HP ones on for the fucking top tier HP grabs. Obviously you can keep getting these leveled up, but it will take a long ass time. You can make, what, 21 Pogu pills, so you can probably get like a level, level and a half on one of these here grim to think but you know still a bit of extra stats mukin has them physical so she could possibly be saving up for another physical for mukin just to add them on to or she could be saving up for kakadu for another speed just to make him even faster as you can see he just has a pure speed one whereas if you save up you could get the speed and damage rate or i think there's a speed in keto you could probably get let me see where the fuck's the shop. Uh, am I something balls? Yeah, here, Speed and Keto. Probably get it now and help out, but I possibly think she might be saving up for one of these here. Maybe the physical attack and damage rate on the Mukin, unless he's already got it. No, so physical attack and damage rate could possibly be the next buy, which will make the Mukin even more stronger. Um, Soul Cult. Uh, obviously, I haven't done the chances. Get 20, 21 exclusives. Get these here for. Her. So, let me see. So, she's only exchanged the level 10s, and then probably. She's probably went on to exclusive frags or one of these here. More than likely exclusive frags. But with the next set, she could possibly get, you know, some level 11s. Get a bit of luck. Help her out with the upgrades, or just keep getting those exclusives so we'll move on to those so 
level 10 on the main, you know, just for a wee bit of boost, because you can never get rid of the main character, so might as well make him a wee bit buffy. 54, not sexy Kakaki. Damn, that's pretty nice. So what's that? 223k HP, 47k physical attack, 62k defense. Pretty strong. Mookin's on that 63, almost at that 70, which is nice to see. You know, a couple more months of grinding out them exclusives from Tournament Throne and Void, and you could possibly, you'll get the, the level 70 exclusive for Mukin, which could come in hella handy. 76k speed from that, 260k HP, really nice. 104k physical. Um, who's next? Kakado, 41. So as you can see, he's got that 58k speed. 90k HP, 67 uh, strategy attack. So, like, I would pass. I would go for the Mutant exclusive if I was doing this here, just to get it out of the road, and then just to fucking ass rape a lot of people. But she could possibly be saving up for something completely different. You know, maybe make Cock a little bit more beefier. Depending on how her PvE and PvP goes. Um, King of Hollow Souls, obviously she's cleared it, no doubt about it. Um, we'll go and see everybody, so let's see. Sexy Kakaki. Oh, okay. Only has. I'm sure that's a mistake, but what? Only has two on the first one, and then the rest are grim, but what? Switch range. Hmm. She's possibly just. Let me see. Where's. Yeah, so Eisen is almost complete. You know, get the two on the five, two on the four, one halfway complete. So she could possibly be going and just stacking on pure one character. And then, you know, once she's finished. The, the Mukin, she'll move on to possibly Kakuro and then or Sexy Kakuro, whatever would benefit more. So, you know, get them sixes and fives. Hikifune has a few ones on everybody. Kakuro has that five in the first one, zero in the rest. So there is a huge amount of improvement willing to be made there. Just the stack on the Mukin, it seems, is pretty real. So, you know, she's not going to be pushing forward to, you know, spread out a bit more if she's still on that stack. Sexy Kakaku, level 26 on the HP bomb, level 13 on the defense and keto defense, or physical defense, keto defense. So, grab another, what, like, does it go up to 30, doesn't it? Yeah, so, some extra percent. Obviously, it takes a huge amount. Um, she's cleared it completely, so start or let me see, daily training was I get you? Damn, 700? Okay. Three and three, so 20, 2100 every day. That's pretty nice. So tomorrow she could get the next for Kukaku if she wanted to. Mugen Eisen has that speed bond, hit rate bond, max HP, and doesn't have the damage rate, your watch. Oof, does she even oh you don't even have space for your watch? Damn. Okay. It's gonna be a hard one. Um Hikifune just has the HP one activated, the rest there's no need. Could have these two activated, but there's no point if it's just there for the show. Has the physical attack and keto attack. Um activated for Kakado and uh, the rest could be activated but aren't so by the looks of things it's just a mucin stack from what i can see so she will be just fully pimping out the mucin and then moving on um i'm gonna take a wild guess and say that she's upgrading these first and then replacing them and moving them on to like the next characters and stuff but it could be 
could be completely wrong. She could be just getting the Asuchi and just flying with it, you know, just upgrading everybody slowly. So what are these bunch of random hoges? Got that wee shitty two zero just chilling in there. 87 mod souls, Jesus, what are these titles? Beach Carnival, Angel's Bell, God Solomon. Damn, alright, alright. See you flexing there. Um, that reminds me, trying to jump into mod souls. So, what is she, what is she packing? So, sh Sakaguri's mod soul. Um, let me see. Okay, so she's went for the, looks like the defense type of character. Whereas I've went for the speed, and she's went for defense and speed by the looks of things. Let me see. I think it is. Or well, they're both pretty similar. Just you know, I want more physical attack and keto defense. Whereas this one seems to be physical defense and keto attack with a bit of stamina, which is fair enough. You know, that's what you're going for. Um, what level is it? 60, didn't I say? Yeah, 61. Possibly, you could get 62 with them pills. So it's pretty nice to see. Um, obviously, it's still a long way until Holmes is available. You got that New Year nail pound, sexy Kaku. What's that? 7k HP and stuff. Well, that's pretty decent for... Doesn't actually have one on the making. What the fuck? Is that a mistake? Hmm. Got that Grim Joe Pat. Level 50 on Kakado. Boosting that ass. Let me see. Berserk Renji. Nice. I'm seeing maybe she's accidentally forgot to take one of her pets off, or one of the modules off one of her characters. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let me see. Mukin. Oh. Obviously, Harry Bell gives that crazy extra shit. So, let me see. 12k Stanima, 6k Keto attack and physical. Bit of speed. Makes that da uh, Mukin a lot stronger. Let me see. 1.13. It's not bad, not bad. So obviously, let me see treasures as well to show off. Let's see. Sexy Kaku, got that tier 12s. Fully maxed out. Mukin Eisen, got the tier 12s as well. Um, maxed out physical. Obviously, got the Stanima one to work on as well. Um, Kakuto, got the tier 12s as well. Maxed out. Obviously, there's not much difference between tier 12 and tier 13. There's maybe a couple of K, and it costs a lot more to max out the tier 13. The only reason why I'm doing it from my account is just because I couldn't be bothered going for tier 12s, where, you know, that extra couple of K speed could make the difference. That's me just being picky. You know, if you want to go for the tier 12s, and it works for your team, and actually you can survive with that, and that's fair enough, you know. I have got no reason to complain for that. So, you know, still um, a few of them could get upgraded. So, you know, a lot more stat bonuses are to appear. Um, so, to, like, if you were to max out everything that I've shown you, you could easily hit 8 mil, 9 mil probably. Something crazy like that there. You know, you, you, there's still a lot of... BP to be earned from everything. Um, as you can see, the Raging Jack has passed the, the Phase 2 effect, so working towards that Phase 3. Obviously, that grind is real. Um, it's, what, what was that? 344? Jesus. So it's costing you basically 4k almost just to get 10 levels, which is crazy. So, uh, you know, there's still a lot of grind there. Hopefully, the the void will help her out and get her, get her some soul conquest. But it seems to be given her exclusive, so definitely cannot complain for that. There, the exclusives are always nice, so they are. Um, let me see, reinforce. Obviously, a lot of them do cost a bucket load of silver. 
Is there you go, that's what fucking 31 31 mil just for one level. Jeez Louise. And then it just keeps getting higher and higher. So it does the more you invest into it. So she's on a hard ass grind for that silver save. Uh, 8.9 coupons, more than likely saving for, actually she's got more, let me see, 9.3, obviously saving for Visor Revenge, pretty much that's all you would be smart for doing, just save for Visor Revenge, you need what, 15k is it, and you get tier 12 Hogu, 50 enhanced talismans, and, or 60 I think, enhanced talismans, which is hella nice for 15k coupon spend. And you, you obviously get a humongous boost out of it, so definitely cannot complain from that. Um, as you can see, that's another different account, you know, everybody has their different type of playstyle. Um, obviously Potato's going for the, the Mukin and the Sexy Kaku stack with the Kakaru support, you know, whereas the last account I showed you was going for the fucking OP um, Nugetsu, was it? Yeah, so... You know, everybody's got their different play style. Um, hopefully, in the next account I show you will be an even different play style, you know, and could give off different uh, showcases for different characters. Um, but definitely let me know if you want to see Bleach accounts as well, because Potato is willing to sh let me use the Bleach account to show off. Um, she does have the, the full like top tier um, account. I think you know Hell vs Ichigo, Kakado, uh, Toshiro. You know, pretty fucking. I think Battle War Biakia or Blood War Biakia, but I could be wrong on that one. But you know, if you want to see that, you know, let me know. And I'll try and get things arranged. But uh, hopefully, you like the the account overview on uh, Potatoes account. Um, let me know if you have any specific uh, people's accounts that you want to see and I'll see if I can try and get in contact and see if I can work any, uh, something out. But hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, peace.